When Officer Melvin Woods responded to an attempted suicide call, he never expected the impact of what responding to that call would make. When Melvin Woods arrived at this home Saturday, he found a woman on the brink of taking her own life. She told me that her and her husband wasn't working and they didn't have no food in the house. The kids was hungry. After one stressful day too many, Faith Dashner had had enough. I just wanted to say, goodbye, Rold. I don't want to be here. I'm done. She told Officer Woods they had no money for food. They said we haven't had no food in the house in like four or five days. I said, well, what, how are you feeding the kids? Said, We're not. And that's when a young girl said she hadn't eaten in two days. After leaving the house, Officer Woods decided he wasn't going to let the story end there. And something had to be done, starting at the grocery store. Coffee, cream, eggs, uh, juice, milk. A hundred dollars later, he went to his own freezer. Roasts and steaks and vegetables in there. And it's jam-packed. And hand-delivered everything to the Dashner's front door. I, mean, I said, remember me? I said, yes. I said, uh, I have food out here for you guys. Faith and the entire family was shocked. I gave him a bear hug because we the whole family was crying. She says the gesture is something that has taught her a lesson in life to have faith in human nature. Mel was opened us open our eyes a lot. Yeah. Huh. As for this 29 year veteran of the Toledo police, he hopes this may inspire others to pay it forward and says he was only doing the right thing. I believe it's something I supposed to do from my heart. The family has received an outcry of support, so much so that they're donating the excess to other family members in need. Chris Del Camp, WNWO News.